Welcome back everybody. Well, uh, sunset is in probably five, six minutes from now, so we're gonna try to make this video. But once the sun sets, I still have probably 10 to 15 minutes, so I wanna do a review. And I think I can do that within the time allotted for uh, daylight. So anyways, uh, this is very cool. And it's about, I don't know, 25 minutes after seven, something like that. Well, let's have a look at the sky. It was very hot today. Actually in the low 20s, 20 Celsius. It was, what, 23? I don't know. But with the humidex, it was supposed to be like 25. But anyways, as you can see, there's still some smoke. We just have fine smoke, and it's not really a problem. But yeah, hopefully uh, it'll start raining. I don't like raining, but, you know, we're entering fall, so that's when we get a lot of rain. But... Anyways, uh, let's get back to the video because, uh, like I said, I don't have much daylight. So let's set this up and uh, try to make it look pretty. Okay, uh, wait a minute. There we go. Okay, that looks good, I think. All right, well, anyways, uh, these ones are rather expensive. They're $4.97 at Walmart, $4.97 each. Uh, that's Canadian dollars, of course. And and with tax it comes to $55.67 so holy cow not much money for 10 cars but of course you're paying for the name which is Thousand and Furious and so one of 10 and this series just came out I know there's been other channels that have done reviews but this is going to be my review and what I love so anyways uh, let's get started as you see, that was the first one, number one of ten. And, well, hang on, I'll be right back. All right, one of ten, The Fast and the Furious. Uh, card art looks pretty cool. Nothing spectacular, but it's from the first movie. And here we have the typical casting that's been issued many times in black and uh, with a variety of wheels. Uh, this edition you get, well, a door handle painted in, RT, you got side marker lights, and if you look inside, there's actually uh, some detail inside each spoke. I don't know, well, it's not really my favorite design. They had a five spoke similar to this, and then they came out with these, and I don't think they look that good, but anyways, let's get to the back. And, uh, okay, you got nice tampos on the back for the taillights. And, and what's that? It says Dodge in the middle. Doesn't say Charger. Maybe it does. I just can't focus in, I guess. But Anyways, uh, that's nice. And then, well, you see the card art. There's a blacked out grill, but... No, it's just a plain grill that you get on the basic line and every other version. But it's still cool. It has separate chrome grills, so that's not bad. Anyways, that's number one. And then, this is number two. Too Fast, Too Furious, and this is pretty cool. Now, I love this casting with the uh, roof. I don't know if that's supposed to be a roof molded in or a removable roof. And it looks like it has a trunk detail. And very nice. Love the tampos on the back. The taillights look beautiful. These are like premium uh, tampos. And then you got the silver Honda badge. It's very nice there. I love those wheels. Very cool graphics on the side. And you got some on the hood and a little on the roof and the back. And then the front end, nice. Silver Honda badge. Headlights look really nice. So very cool casting. So that's nice. So uh, let's see, how am I going to do this? <laughs> I don't know. Doing this on the fly. But anyways, and then number three of ten. The Fast and the Furious. Tokyo Drift, and this is really cool. It's a brand new casting. I'll show you the chassis first. So it's copyright 2022. I think we gotta focus in here. 
I do slower so as you can see it's a 2004 Mazda RX-8 but it's copyright 2022 very cool casting look at that I love the front end headlights there and then oh well, you got open grill which is uh, backed by the chassis which well uh, there's not much detail inside but anyways that looks really cool on the front there's those cool wheels Uh, so I don't know uh, Well I think both sets of wheels are really cool. Maybe that one's better <laughs> anyways so anyways uh, This is great casting. Oh, well, we got to look at the back end and so there you go very nice tampos for the Tail lights the Mazda badge Very nice Beautiful casting, so brand new casting, and that's a great looking uh, paint scheme. The two tone, love it. So, anyways, that's uh, number three. So, let's put that over here. I'm gonna do this as I <laughs> set it up as I uh, talk about them. Uh, anyways, uh, I want to try to make them look neater, I guess. Okay, well, uh, let's go to four now. This one is Fast and Furious, number four. I don't remember a red Camaro, but it could be one of those ones that was just in the scene just for a brief moment, but there it was, so let's make a casting of it. <laughs> let's make an issue. But this one's different, because uh, you see the taillights, you got black sections. I guess that's where the backup light should be. I think that's where uh, the 69 had the backup lights. But anyways, and then you got the Z28 badge and then a little key button right in the center there. So that's pretty cool. I like the white stripes. Of course, I love red. Number one, gold five spoke, double five spoke, whatever there. And then you got more tempos right up there. And then the front, pretty nice. Uh, the grill is actually part of the chassis. And then you get, well, the lights down below the bumper there and then the headlight. The hideaway headlight covers, pretty nicely detailed. Uh, they, well, be nice to have an SS badge, I guess, on the nose, but it's supposed to be a Z28, I guess. Or, I don't know if that's supposed to be where an SS goes or if it's a Chevy badge, but, well, anyways. <laughs> that's not bad. I like that. So, I yet to see that in any of the movies, so I'm not sure. So, let's put that over there. And then here's a car I'm really liking a lot. Okay, I think I'm still rolling. Okay. <laughs> I tried to make a video last night, and uh, I guess I hit pause when, or play when I should have hit pause. But here's number five of ten, and Fast Five. I absolutely love this car. I mean, I've got a Jada Toys 124 scale version of it. And considering it's a 71... Now, 71 and 72 was the only time they used the GTR uh, before and after, up until, I think, 89. They had 2000 GT, and it might be GTX, GTS, or what have you like that, but GTR was just for two years. I think what happened was, uh, yeah, because of the gas crisis in the early 70s, that this car, even in Japan, they thought, no, that. that going to waste too much gas we need more economy cars so that's why the gtr only lasted for two years and then these cars had a variety of engines in it even diesel engines and stuff and all the cars from uh the late 60s early 70s from japan from nissan you could get variety of engines and diesel options and whatnot so anyways that's pretty cool i love that front end on it so the temple works really nice So, love that one. Anyways, that's number five. Let's uh, place that over here. And uh, try to make an art project here. Maybe a, a thumbnail might turn out here. I don't know. And number six. Fast and Furious 6. So, that's cool. And I love this. Very nice. GTR 2009. 
go around back you got the tapos but i think all the gtr uh castings or issues even the basic line i think do they have taillights too i don't know but that's uh, really cool and then right front well there's nothing but you got the lens headlights which are part of the window unit and then the grill is part of the chassis so okay enough detail there and uh are there tampos on the hood for the scoops yeah i guess so okay yeah <laughs> so very cool love that one uh, there is a gtr badge right there on the right hand side on the inside of the right taillights anyway so that's cool so uh how am i doing this now i think uh, okay, i'll just move that up there that up there that right there <laughs> anyways and then we come to a really cool one this is number seven of ten and very nice so fast and furious furious seven this is series three hmm i don't think i've collected all of the uh, series one and two i have bits and i was gonna say bits and bites of uh, but i have uh, just a few of the other ones i think same thing they were too expensive at the time and so i just picked the ones i liked but look at that that's so cool and just white with those cool wheels simple tempos on the front but still very nice uh, you see some of the metal casting that's some flash that started oozing out the mold and i guess they didn't clean that off oh well that's not bad <laughs> some people say i'm too picky but well i mean look there's a little black mark there i don't know what that is is that a little like hair in the paint and i don't know <laughs> picky well i mean if there was another one without that i would have taken that another one with clean front end i would have taken that so yeah Sometimes picky pays off. And then the taillights, well, that's how the real car looks. And uh, there's something on the casting right there. What's that? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> still very cool. Glad I have it. Now, these were the only 10 on pegs because uh, you get 10 in a box. And so one box was put out and I just happened to get there at Walmart when nobody else was there. So I got all 10. And I thought, wow. Over $55 for 10 cars, but I guess they're really cool, so I, I'm not complaining. And then number 8 of 10 is uh, this one. The Fate of the Furious. And very nice casting. You know, not particularly an exciting car, at least for me. You know, I don't know, what do you think? Uh, you got some open grills there that, you know, backed by the chassis. But very nice tapos on the front. That grill looks really nice. You get the little uh, badge on the nose and the headlights. And just gloss black wheels. They actually tampo gloss black. Because they don't come up shiny like that just out of the mold, I don't think. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but go around back. Okay, you got simple taillights. And then the stripes, and then the Mercedes badge right there. So that's not a bad one, like that one. And so let's put that over here. And then we're coming to number nine. And uh, this is actually pretty nice. F9. And we got the Acura NSX. Very cool and just silver paint, metallic silver. And there's those gloss black wheels again. So that's nice. And then uh, all of these come with this tempo, don't they? Uh, you got a nice accurate badge on the nose. No, oh, the grills aren't painted in there. Okay, but anyways. Pretty nice looking tempo on the front. And that's uh, the typical tempo I believe on all the cars except this one has the Acura badge picked out and that looks pretty cool can't really make it out too well but you got the lights in there and then those are open uh, grill right there and then that portion part of the chassis so I mean it's a cool casting I love it nothing fancy there but still 
nice enough. <laughs> and then, well, well uh, did I yell into the camera? <laughs> Uh, this is the coolest one. This is the one that I actually love a lot and it's absolutely beautiful It's a new casting as well copyright 2022 and Very cool 10 of 10 and this is definitely a 10 look at this such a cool casting And then it's got a different uh, Well front spoiler front lip chin spoiler whatever you want to call it I like the over fenders and then you got stock tail lights very nice uh, that's so cool and here's the chassis so brand new 20 where is it 2022 Mattel all right nice and that's going to make another beautiful premium Oh man, so did they do the oh they didn't put any headlights in, but you get well, you got little openings for uh the brake ducts. Yeah, so okay, no temples up front then. But it looks good enough uh without it, so I'm not complaining. Now these are expensive, but uh I'm glad I got them because I'm a huge Fast and Furious fan. I have all the movies, I watched Fast Ten. But it's, is there going to be a Fast 11? Because uh, they left a, a cliffhanger. And they can't come out with Fast and Furious 10 Part 2. <laughs> I don't know. So there's going to be an 11th movie, I guess. With more of the big stars that appeared in the past. <laughs> Anyways. And one comes back from the dead again. If she didn't already come back from the dead in 10. Anyways. <laughs> so, uh. That's my review. So these look really cool. I love it. Anyways. So there are my cool Fast and Furious cars. I hope you enjoy them. What do you think? Are they worth over $50 for 10 cars? I know uh, other countries uh, you pay a lot more, but I'm just saying from what I'm used to growing up and how much uh, the prices have changed. I think uh, they're getting rather expensive now, but as long as they make good quality, we've got a flying school uh, plane going overhead. So everybody say hi. Hello, hey, I'm waving. <laughs> All right. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.